Hi everyone, it's Mr. X one more time and I want us to do a question on sequences in mathematics. A very important topic that's coming out as we approach the end of your examination. So don't forget that you can get my videos on Instagram under the Mr. X Math Science. So Mr. X Math Science, that's the handle, or you can go to Facebook where you can go and check for Beacon of Light Mathematics and Science Center. So the profile is just a little B right there on the Facebook one day. Right, without further ado, let's get down to the question and let's understand what's going on. It's a 2018 Eastern Cape paper, prelim paper one and a question number three. I'll put it across on the screen, here we go. It says to us here, a quadratic number pattern, Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C, has the following information. T1, the first term, T5, the fifth term, are equal to 24 and it has a constant second difference of four. Determine the equation of the general term of this particular quadratic pattern, that's eight marks. Okay, so to begin with, we need to understand something significant. When you're dealing with the quadratic sequence, notice that the second difference is always the same. And we're told that the second difference is equal to four. Number two, the first difference of a quadratic sequence is actually an arithmetic sequence. So when you're looking for the general term of this particular quadratic pattern, there's a couple of things that you need to do. So I'm gonna write them down right here, okay? So to begin with, let's see what we have uh, in this scenario. Now, the first three cascading numbers of a quadratic sequence are very important. It's always the first term of the quadratic sequence, in this case is 24, that's very important. Again, next up is the first difference of the quadratic sequence, which in this case we do not know, so I'll just put a stroke there. And then again, after that is the second uh, difference of the quadratic sequence, which in this case we're given as four. What we do know when you're looking for the general term of the quadratic pattern is that this 24, this first term of the quadratic corresponds to A plus B plus C. While this one here, the first term of the first difference corresponds to 3a plus b. Then the second difference always corresponds to 2a. So if we were to play around with this, we'd say to ourselves, 2a is equal to 4. So now I know what a is. a in this case is equal to 2. And that's a very important thing to understand. Then look at what we have here. We don't know what this number is. We don't but we do know that there's 24. So 24 being the first term is equal to A, and I know what A is, it is two, plus B, which I don't know, plus C, which I also don't know, is that equal to 24. Matt would have me 22 is equal to B plus C. I can make B the subject of the formula if I want to, it becomes 22 minus C is equal to B. That's what you have. We'll call this equation number one. So for me to find out the general term and get my eight marks of a quadratic pattern, it's true, I need to know what A is, I need to know what B is, I also need to know what C is. So far, I only know A. So how do I find, and I'm just gonna erase this quickly, how do I find my B, how do I find my C? We're given further information that in this quadratic sequence, term number five, is equal to 24. So in other words, I've got T5, right, being equal to 24. Notice that a quadratic sequence, Tn is a n squared plus b n plus c. So if I'm talking about T5, where n is 5, I know the value is 24, but the position is 5. So I'll put this as 24, that's the value. And then A, I know you already, you are two. N is the position, five squared plus B, which I don't know. N is the position in this case, is going to be equal to five again, then plus C. The maths will suggest I get a 50 here, I get 24, I get plus five B plus C. I get negative 26 when I take 50 to the other side is equal to 5b plus c. I will call this equation number two. 
now it becomes a bit easier now because I now know I've got two equations and I can always solve them simultaneously as can be seen. So having said that, let me show how you can play around with it now so that at least now we can get our A, our B, and our C. A, we already have it, like I said. Now we can get B and C. Let's go on and see how far we can go. Okay, so I'm gonna take some stuff out now. So what do I have currently? Okay, I'm gonna take some stuff out. There we go, there we go. I wanna make sure that I've got my equations there that I need nicely there put, and then I can find everything that I need there quickly. So I'll be done with this in less than three minutes. Okay, let's go. So what do I have currently? Well, I've got my equation, which is this one, which says 22 uh, minus C is equal to B. That was actually equation one. Then I've got that other equation, which says negative 26 is equal to 5B plus C. So that's equation two. Usually we say, take one into two. So pretty much I'll say negative 26 is equal to five. I know what B is, is 22 minus C, then plus C. Maths will have you 110 minus five C plus C negative 26. Then we have our maths right there. It's gonna be a situation now. I'm gonna have this as negative 136 is equal to negative 4c. So then I can now get my c. c becomes equal to 34. That's it. Then I can find b now that I know what c is. So I can use equation number one to find my b. So it says 22 minus c is equal to b. So it's going to be 22 minus 34 is equal to b. So B at the end of the day becomes equal to negative 12. So I'm looking for the general uh, term of this particular quadratic, A n squared plus B n plus C. A 2 n squared plus B. B happens to be negative 12, so we're going to put it right there nicely as negative 12 n right there, then plus C, which is plus 34. And that, ladies and gentlemen, becomes your equation and your eight marks, you have it right there. Check out more videos with me as we go on along. Hope to see you guys soon enough. Let's work hard, let's keep working. Let's check out the videos, let's pull through. We will make it. Mr. X, got your back as always. See you soon.